kill it, kill it, guys, yeah. kill it. Go, 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 go. Kill those boys, that's perfect. Two, you can kill those, kill those two. Kill the two boys, kill those two, kill them, kill them. Go, 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 go. Right there, guys, right there. There's lots in here. It's really shooting, guys. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. You know what to do. Another day in paradise, huh, boys? All right, well, it seems like the only time I have time to do this video stuff is kind of when I'm walking back to the truck or walking from the truck. Two and a half minutes away from getting it. He knew. Oh, come on. Saved by the <laughs> bell. It was dark this morning and I was in a bit of a rush, so didn't get a chance to kind of let you know what's going on. So we'll do it all from the backside. This hunt was uh we've actually hunted this field oh this is probably the fourth or fifth time we've shot double limits of specks and ducks and it's just you know it's it's one of those fields when it has barley in it it's just the perfect storm it's uh you know a lot of shallow basin water stubble goes right right to the water so the birds get in there they they roost they walk out they go oh look at that feed and they just walk out so it just it's a perpetual motion machine, you know. Well, this is kind of cool. And you can see where the birds fed here. And I mean, there's not a lot of feathers and droppings, but you can see where they get in there and they, they get their bills and beaks in there and they try to drill into the stubble to find whatever, you know, kernels of barley or, or wheat or peas or whatever. This is really cool. You can really see it. You know, we uh, we hunted it oh, about a week ago. They were out of here for a while. Then they got back in and then the landowner had some friends. I think they got in on it maybe. I'm not even sure. And then it, it stacked up again and... I called on, I said, hey, you know what? It's, if we don't get in there, it's just gonna get fed out. You're about 60 yards. Kill those boys, that's perfect. Get that one out swinging out the left. Nice. Good job. You know, this was only yesterday. Yesterday at about, I think, noon. When I called on it, it just started stacking up and stacking up and stacking up. And then as the day progressed, it just got bigger and bigger. And last night, it was just this ginormous monster of a hunt. Don't move, don't move. Go, 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 go. I just... oh, that's four, five. You know, we set it up again. We're just using uprights. And, and I was going to go with the Cabela's Renegades. If they were feeding in, in some of the scrubby little bottom, like look how scrubby that is. If they weren't, they are were feeding on some high ground. And, and you know, the stubble was just like short, more like a golf green. So I set up kind of right on the edge of that, of a plateau as it breaks into some of the low ground. And uh, I mean, those, those specks that came in on us, most of them didn't have a clue this morning. It's pretty good. I mean, uh, we had the specks done real quick. Okay, just hang on, hang on. Hang on, they're dropping, they're dropping, they're dropping. Something will be in the hole, just be patient. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. just wait, 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 wait. I screwed that up, it's okay, it's okay. Shit, I didn't see him, just hang on. I didn't see him, I didn't see him, guys. It's okay, We're, there's lots, hang on. I didn't see him, let him swing. They're right here on the right, going into the middle. Low? Yeah, three of them. You got another flock coming okay. in too. You got another oh, flock shit. Oh, shit. oh, man. Okay, you right here, guys. Get ready. These ones on the right side are pitching. Just get ready. Don't move. Don't move. Let's see if we can get them in tight. Right there, guys. Right there. There's lots in here. It's really shooting, guys. Gets confusing when there's that many. Yeah. Four. Okay, guys, we're going to kill four more. So legal was at 656. And at 810, we're wrapped up. We got three, four right here, straight over the top. Let's see. Yeah, you can kill those right there. There's four low ones right there. Kill them. Two, three, three. Oh, yeah, three that's nice. Four. That's, four. that's four. That's four. Yeah. Four? Oh, there you go. Good. That's good. That's four we're now. Good. Yeah. Good. Hour and 15 minutes. 40 specs. Three snows actually came in. And uh, limited ducks. Mix of pintails and mallards. <laughs> Go guys, go, go, go. Nice shot. Okay, I have no idea how many we have now. So we gotta I like those. Probably 16. Ducks? 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh more no. than that. Oh no. Uh uh we have like ten. <laughs> no. No, we don't have ten. We shot two flocks of four. How living? many you got back there? <laughs> There's lots. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you do for a living, but this is kind of what I do for a living. <laughs> I mean, same old thing. I mean, we just I just developed so much confidence in these dive bombs now that I put out a big spread. I put out see four bags of specs, bag and a half of Canada, so 35 dozen decoys, and then I put out just I don't know a dozen snow goose dive bomb silhouettes just to light us up you know when you're at a big field like this is an 800 acre field and there was actually a couple other feeds going on you know they can stack up anywhere they want so you want them to see you the minute they come off that roost they climb up you want you want to be the show right away and and we were definitely the show this morning specs can be specs right a lot of them they don't all do it perfectly you know they'll slide or they'll they'll climb up but i mean the ones we shot this morning for the most part were right there. The only time I shot at stuff like 35 or 40 yards this morning was when they're right over the blind and they're they're killable and they got a good look at us. And I knew those birds would probably just drift over and go settle down in another part of the field. And that right there is a kiss of death. Like, you know, once that happens, they're definitely gonna stack up on you. You know, especially if they're four, five, six, seven, eight hundred yards away. I mean, it's hard to react by the time you get over there, or by the time you move a truck over where you can keep them out of a certain spot. It's done. So you definitely want to you want to take advantage of that. And and you know what's interesting is they're shooting the heavy, heavy hammer twos, and even those birds that you know drifting by at 35, 40, 45 yards, they knocked six out of one flight this morning, and that's that's pretty strong. You know. <laughs> Yeah, leave this. Leave. Okay, ready? Go, these ones. Go, 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 go. Four, five, six. Oh my God, eight. <laughs> See, it happens quick. And I know I say this time and again, but I mean, there's a few reasons we're, we're successful. I mean, one, we do have a great resource and I will not deny that. It's absolutely fantastic. Two, our spotting program is rock solid. <laughs> That's what we're looking for, right there. And three, you know, good equipment and, uh, you know, good ammunition, good gun. Anyways, sorry about the shake and the bounce, but it's just uh, one of those deals. You know, this is about, you know, keeping clients happy and today's turnaround day, so we gotta get them back, get them fed, get these guys out the door, get the lodge cleaned, have supper ready, new group rolling in today, and just hit the reset button, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we hunt again, and, and then Saturday would be nice to have a little bit of a break, you know, we're all getting a little bit tired. Anyways, cheers all. Just another day in paradise, huh, boys? That's right. That wasn't bad. A little bit of an evening, and it was a real strong morning right there. <laughs>